Good morning, afternoon, and or evening, my sexy compatriots. This is the cup of coffee you all know I love, Minty Coffee. Continuing with the theme of Jungle Inferno, this time I shall be taking a look at the new flamethrower that has shaken up the minds of many a TF2 player, the Dragon's Fury. Countless times since the drop of the update, I have seen all kinds of players calling this thing overpowered, that it does too much damage, that it's impossible to fight, that it makes Pyro way too powerful, and that it needs to be nerfed into the goddamn ground. No! Level with me for a second. Consider this. Pyro has been given a much more offensive flamethrower for a reason. For too long, Pyro had been the lackluster performer of the offensive classes, always being outmatched by both Soldier and Scout in 9 situations out of 10. This new weapon in no way makes these classes obsolete. It simply gives Pyro more of a fighting chance against them. Well, one of them. What do I mean by this? Well, let's go over its pros and cons to find out. I ain't no good at talking. So, what does the Fury have to show for itself? Well, unlike the other flamethrowers, it is actually a single shot projectile based weapon. Pretty much a gigantic fireball cannon if you will. The first shot from this weapon deals a base damage of 25, ramping up to a max of 30, and the lowest possible fall off being 23. If your first shot connects, consecutive shots deal bonus damage equating to plus 300%, or plus 75. On top of afterburn, this damage adds up, especially since hitting the first shot reduces your reload time by a massive 50%, from 0.8 seconds to just 0.4 seconds. This allows you to pull off that super quick 100 damage combo, plus at least 2 ticks of afterburn in just a second, just enough to cripple or even kill a light class outright. This gives Pyro a massive edge against hitscan classes like Scout, as the projectile based style of fighting means you're no longer stuck walking mindlessly around at your enemy having to spray at them. Now you can track and keep your own movement unpredictable. So yeah, the DF can kill stuff quite fast, but against moving targets it's going to be a lot trickier to do, especially since that other guy wants to put a boot up your ass in the process. Finally, due to the sheer raw damage of this thing, it basically invalidates the need for any damaging secondary and encourages the use of either a utility based flare gun like the Scorch Shot, the Gas Passer or the Jetpack depending on how you wish to play. But pairing this beast with the Jetpack in particular turns Pyro into a pretty formidable flanker. So to sum this up, the Dragon's Fury is a great offensive addition to Pyro's primary arsenal, allowing for a different style of combat by mixing the Widowmaker and Direct Hit into one, giving a powerful weapon that rewards accuracy with increased damage potential. This doesn't come for free however, as we shall shortly find out. Quite easily, the biggest detractor this weapon has is its crippled air blast potential. Intervals between air blasts is more than doubled from stocks 0.75 seconds to a massive 1.6. Furthermore, air blasting will also reset the faster reload time that consecutive shots grant you. In my eyes, this makes this flamethrower far worse than others against projectile based classes like Soldier and Demo, as you cannot switch between puffs and air blast instantly like other flamethrowers, and the crippled air blast potential basically makes you mincemeat against soldiers that don't fire predictably. Also, as is the nature of this weapon, it requires a steady aim and precise tracking to get anything out of it, so unless you're able to land those shots well, you really aren't going to get anything done. To surmise, the cons of this thing include a crippled air blast potential, disadvantages against projectile classes, and a lack of results for players without steady aim. So is this weapon overpowered? No! It might kill stuff fast, but it kills stuff fast only if you can aim with it and get in the dangerous range required to even pull it off. Many seem to forget that the range you have to be in is also optimal range for most other classes to deal a massive amount of fatal damage to you, the pyro. It's not as if you're walking towards a disarmed target after all. Walking up to a heavy or a soldier or a demo? That's just a death wish. You still can't just walk right up to them. You have to make use of good positioning and dare I say, flanking to get anything done. What do you think? Is the Dragon's Fury still OP despite my debunking of it? Is it actually more underwhelming than you thought? Do let me know. This has been the cup of coffee you all know and love, and I shall see you next time, my sexy compatriots. Bye!